Although crustaceans are formidable prey, the two snake species in this video eat crayfish. One exclusively eats soft shell crayfish, and the other primarily eats hard shell crayfish. Prey size relative to the gape of snakes affects the behaviors used, prey handling times, and the success for capture and consumption. Even though Regina septum ventata eats soft-shelled crayfish, these prey can use their large claws defensively and perform tail flips to escape. Our two study species use different behaviors to handle prey after the initial strike. As shown here, Regina septum ventata usually bites and holds on to crayfish to subdue them. In the lab and in the field, Regina septum ventata can break off and consume chelipeds from crayfish that are too large to consume whole. The hardshell crayfish consumed by Liodides alani are difficult to capture and subdue, and sometimes they escape the initial strike using a tail flip. Sometimes crayfish also escape after the initial capture, and this is more likely with increased prey size and increased hardness. Using body restraint behaviors increases the success of Liodides alani in subduing crayfish. For example, the coiling behavior completely encircles prey. The snakes may also restrain crayfish by pushing them into a U-shaped loop of their body. Another method of restraint used by Liodides alani is pinning the prey against the substrate using the ventral surface of its body. Although it is not as effective as a tail flip for escaping, pinching can still definitely impede consumption and potentially injure the snake. Both species of snakes usually swallow crayfish tail first. Probably as a result of using body restraint, Liodides alani consume soft-shell crayfish faster than Regina septum ventata. However, the primary diet of Liodides alani is hard-bodied prey, often with sizes smaller than the soft prey consumed by Regina septum ventata.